what's up jamers it's the one jam and today we are playing itali red this is a build with a brand new card itali primal conqueror and this is going to be in a mono red shell seven mana seven seven with trample when it etbs each player exiles the top card from their library till they exile a non-land card you may cast any number of spells from among them without paying their mana costs so it's basically like an upgraded version of the itali that you might already be used to from seasons past you can pay nine and a phyrexian green to transform it as a sorcery and it turns into itali primal sickness as an 11 11 trample indestructible whenever it deals combat damage to a player they get that many poison counters so your opponent just dies straight up dies we are playing a little bit of land destruction with field of ruin and demolition field we are playing Koth Fire of Resistance to be able to get enough mana to cast a Tali. And the Might Stone and Weak Stone even uses uh, itself to, uh, to use a Tali's ability to transform it to get to that nine mana that you need. We also have Chandra Hope Speaking, which is a brand new Planeswalker in the new set. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets from a copy. It triggers only once each turn, but you can copy a lot of spells that we have, like Strangle, a Braid, Volcanic Spite, Brotherhood's End, Nahiri's Warcrafting, Volt Charge, which also proliferates. So you can use this, proliferate it, and you can, uh, it basically just hypercharges this loyalty count super fast when you use Volt Charge with it. You can exile the top five cards of your library till the end of your next turn. You can cast an instant or sorcery from among those exiled cards. So it's a little bit of card advantage there. And then it deals X damage to each of up to two targets. So you, and it's, you can even go face with this ability. Anyway, Nahiri's Warcrafting, I did go ahead and go over just briefly just now, but this is one of my favorite cards in Standard. It's a three mana deal five damage to a creature, Planeswalker, or Battle, and you also get to look at the top cards of your library where X is equal to the excess damage that you did with Nahiri's Warcrafting, and you get to cast a card from there this turn. So notably, it's just this turn, not till the end of your next turn. So you do really need to use this when you have a couple mana left over. So you can use a Strangle, a Braid, Volcanic Spite, Reckoner, Bankbuster, or what have you um, in the same turn that you use Nahiri's Warcrafting. So anyway, our sideboard consists of this broken card, Lithomantic Barrage. It's a one mana sorcery and it can't be countered. It deals one damage to a creature or planeswalker. It deals five damage instead if it's a white or blue. So that is kind of nuts. We have Stonebrain for Atraxa decks and License Hearts for Reanimator decks. Urbrass Forge is a sideboard pivot. If our opponent is bringing in a lot of counter spells against us, this card is going to be very good at putting creatures on the battlefield and attacking them with haste and getting through counter spells. We have Karn Silex for like other sacrifice decks or mono white midrange, and then we have Burning Down the House as a general sweeper, and it also makes little devils to kill our opponents. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the matches, and it all starts right now. I don't love that we don't have double red for Brotherhood's End, but we have Celestis for the double red anyway. There's the double red. All right, so Deserted Beach, that could be like infinite amounts of decks. Uh-oh. Are there going to be counter spells in our future? I guess I'm going to cast this. That's not a counter spell. Also not in a braid. What's up, Lucky Chimera? How's it going? Okay, that's a Stormcarved Coast. Wedding Announcement. Okay, so they're probably playing Monastery Mentor. I kind of want to just Brotherhood's End, like, later on. So what if I just Demolition Field them, and then just draw, draw a discard off Celestis? I also thought about Koth Minusing, but if I have to Brotherhood's End, I would have to kill my own Koth, and I don't like that play either. I'd much prefer just the draw discard here. I do like getting Koth down under a counter spell, though. They could have Wandering Emperor. Strangle's not bad.
I don't want them to draw a card without putting announcement, so I might just string one of these one ones. Honestly, if they don't have a second white source, they might have to cast. They might have to cast Wandering Emperor now. And then we can Brotherhoods end the Wandering Emperor. That would have been in such a good play. But they do have a second white source. I mean, I mean, they could have make disappear easily. I'm just going to do this again. Yep. Unfortunately, they did have a second place in the deck. I don't need this a braid. I do kind of want that demolition field though. They probably have one basic, they probably have one basic, um, I only left in the deck. All right, this is a perfect time to Brotherhood's End, and I really hope they don't have freaking... Actually, I have seven mana, so it doesn't matter, right? So I can just kill their whole board? Well, outside of this 4-4. Four -four. So we have four mana left over, even if they have Mates of Spear, they have to have like Negate or something, right? Yo, what's up, Jaffer? Oh, it's been a while. Please don't Negate. I knew it. All right, now I just pay for it. buy cards i don't get to kill the 4-4 but we did sniff out the mate disappear there quintorius hello we're a 3-2 by exiling a non-creature non-land sack a spirit choose a card exiled with it cast it without paying its mana cost Well, that's annoying. When this war is over, we will finally rest. I'll build you the slag. I mean, I could cast another cough, but that doesn't really do anything, right? And none of my instants can save my Koth anyway. So if no instants can save Koth, I should just demolition field this. And then they get their last basic from the deck. Oh, they don't have any more basics. That's good to know. They don't have a basic island, or, or maybe the basic island's in their hand. I'd love a bank buster, but I think Koth is better. I do sure love demolishing fields, you're not wrong. They keep having lands, though. 
Oh well. Oh my gosh, they didn't just attack my cough? My wow. Never dies. Maybe they didn't want to give me another loot. Ren and six on arena win? Oh my god, I would love that. There's an abrade. Okay, so what do they have here? And abrade doesn't really do anything. You just go cough minus on the 4-4. Four -four. I don't feel like getting mate disappeared on my Atali. They could have another Emperor. There can be no victory. Then I will fight forever. I'm just gonna try to kill this. If they have another Emperor, then my cough dies, so be it. I mean, I would hate for that to happen, but it is what it is. Well, I mean, if they have Emperor, I can at least abrade the token. But uh, the, but they might also have, actually, they might also have um, another make disappear, and I can just abrade this now. Let your blade do the talking. Nice. More lands. We must protect the people. The thing is, make disappear is gonna be a problem. Crap. That's a Chandra. We have the high ground. I still can't play around to make disappear. Sean, this Chandra should have can't be countered on it. I agree. I mean, I can't play around make disappear, so I might as well just play it. Please don't have it. I mean, if they have make disappear, ooh, no make disappear. Deal three to those. Pew pew. Chandra does go pew pew. Denik. What? What? No risk, no fun. You're not wrong, rookie. Do we add mana? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? I think we do just in case they do have Make Disappear. We can do this together. Please don't have the Stainful Stroke. Thank you. They just have like destroy evil or something. Ah, I called it. I'd like a war crafting and a wedding announcement. Oh my gosh, it copies it. <laughs> but I'll keep it since war crafting's awesome. Ah, main deck duress. Gotta, you gotta love it. That's not a duress. Underdog?
Guess I'll kill it now. While I can. No place here. Blade of the Oni. Oh wow, Warcrafting's so good against that card. Might even need to just leave it there for more value. Because like Warcrafting's realistically only going to get one uh, a strangle or a land off that, and I want it to get more stuff off of it. I think I'm just going to leave it there. Or I could just kill a shieldred. That is what I get for being patient. Patience, patience is key. Ooh, that a braid's very nice. Please don't cast Liliana opponent. I want to play land and Atali. Thank you. Yeah. Scoop, scoop. No, we're gonna get throated. Natalia has too big of a throat. Okay. I kind of want to use Koth to do something before it gets freaking Invoke Despaired, so... I think I'll attack with Bankbuster because they can't throat it. Bank Bankbuster does not have a throat. If they have Infernal Grasp, then so be it. Okay, they also have Infernal Grasp. So they don't have a go for the throat in hand. They have a cut down on my Vol Sleeper that I can't even use. Nice. Please don't cast Invoke Despair, I swear to God. Thank you. I really wish I could use these Demolition Fields. Ah, more lands, got it. Strangle, please. Any removal spell, please. Nice. Nice. What's up, Molda 3? Goodbye, Koth. It was nice knowing you. All we need to do is draw any non-land possible. Brotherhood's End. I mean, I guess we'll just use it. Nothing else better to do. Did 
do this, draw a card. How have I been? I've been amazing. Thank you for asking. I'm happy that you're here. Hey, it's a Chandra. I don't want them to use a removal spell on my end step, so I'm just going to, like, not do anything right now. Yes, we could cast... Wait, we could draw a Fable. All right, we could draw a Fable. How did I know we were going to draw a land? Hmm, interesting. Would have never guessed. We are now 34% to draw a land. Invoke Despair. You can kill my Bank Buster. You know what would be even better? More land? You're right. Ooh, Volcanic Spite. That's not a land. Okay, at this point, any non-land is like freaking bonkers. Oh my god. This proliferates. Now I get to draw more cards off my bank buster. You know what's better than killing them in two turns? Drawing more cards. Chandra's gonna, just gonna dome them in the face next turn for eight. Nice! Duress. Unfortunate. Kind of wanted that Celestis. Please don't abrade me. Thank you. Tressy Passy. Hey, Mad Shatters, what's up? Good to see ya. There's a spite. Put back the burn on the house, I guess. Or discard it. Children, no match for my Warcrafting. I don't get an extra card out of it, but it is what it is. Please don't invoke spare me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Duress. Unfortunate. Oh, that's a forge. Hello. Forge go burr. Goodbye, Spite. It's a lot of duresses. Oh, they have nothing. They have nothing. Maybe I should have held that land just in case they top deck. Uh... Graveyard Trespasser. Poor land, that's fine too. I'll draw a card. Aha, Fable. Hiya. The advantage is consuming them.
Uh oh. Wait, they're, they're gonna plus one. Fire doesn't need a plan. Please don't get a cut down. Please don't get a cut down. Please don't get a cut down. That was like all lands and a shieldred. We take those. Die. This can't be the end. Unlucky opponent. Yeah, that was very unlucky. We got there. Man, that freaking rusty book's annoying. All right. Sundown pass. Please cast a two drop. Nope, they're gonna pass with negate in their hand. Ooh, it's a two drop. It's actually a little surprising. Go, Fable, go. All right, I didn't need the loot ability of that anyway. So Volcanic Spike that plus play Fable. Yes, they could have a sleeper. You're making a new EDH check for MagicCon. I barely play EDH too, so I was a little lost. <laughs> yeah, you only, you only play your like green winter orb deck. Muting the elephant, that's new. I don't mute the elephant. Well, I guess I technically muted the elephant. Oh, cool, opponent's playing Quintorius and also has the elephant avatar. I just mute the book, because that book was annoying. It's not about muting the player, guys. It's about muting the, the freaking pet. Notice how I have a pet that's not super annoying. I have a pet that doesn't say anything. I can cast Atali this turn. Easy. Easy Atali. Let's freaking go. What do we got? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Atali, baby. They mulligan to six. Mono black again. Nice. Yeah, what's up, Hearsay? Okay, I guess I can kill a Shieldred. Oh, wow, Blackleaf Cliffs. Do we think they play a basic 
What's it called? We have the high ground. We have the high ground. Do we think they play a basic mountain? Confirm they have one. All right, now they have to cast Invoke Despair or get rid of my cost somehow. Crap. Well, they didn't do it. Nice. Now they get to wreck their world. Emblem. And then I'll cast Fable. Please don't kill Koth. Don't you dare. Archfiend of the Dross. This is fine. It's a tally time. Let's go! <laughs> All right, Jamers, thank you so much for hanging out and playing with us. Every time we cast a tally was absolutely bonkers. Chandra Hope's Beacon was very good for us as well. So if you like Big Red, I hope you enjoy this deck. The deck list is down in the description below. Hang out for the next one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more standard content like this from me. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.